people and welcome back to another video now i i did say that i was in the last one uh after the last game but i thought this is the, this is the um, game uh before the well before we're exactly halfway through the season and and because of that, I want to just, I'll probably do a couple of Roberts, Taylor Roberts, the 16 year old, only 75 rated, William Parker. Now well, that's two players instantly up into the academy. But, so, that might actually link better um, uh, with a big, with some big competition. Wait, do these two players have the same? Well, they have very similar haircut, but this is going to leave better with quite a bit of competition. Nick, 69 pay 65 shooting, 81 passing. That's why I converted him to a centre mid. His uh, best uh, thing is his passing. Yeah, he's not going to be able to play CDM, so I have to, so I have to like change the formation up a bit to have him fit in. But this man, Taylor Roberts. He might honestly be the next big thing. Look, I think by the time Almiron uh, has recovered from his injury, Taylor Roberts will actually be higher rated. Somehow his pace has still gone up, even though of his ACL. Lascelles, like, even though Lascelles, they're both, like, happy. I guess they're just, like, happy pretty much being able to have time off really um so yeah this is a very <laughs> one thing that i put in, in fifa is their rating doesn't actually show you their stats because i'm pretty sure when uh fifa are like well ea are like hmm i think Aaron's deserves a 74. I don't think that, like, all this does an average 74. It's just like, oh, I think he deserves that. Well, I'm pretty sure that's how it does. But Willock, uh, he is actually gonna again challenge. For, wait, he actually uh, he plays as good. Um, so I'll play this next game and I'll come back after we've only lost three games this season actually which is pretty good but i'll come back after hi guys um i've just beaten everton 3-0 carlo ancelotti is not doing as well as he did in real life a great win for us that should get us up but taylor roberts gets his debut who was subbed on so first off Callum Wilson got his first goal. That was a good goal. Then Taylor Roberts. Like I've used him just for this game. And honestly, I've never played with a player who can pass the ball like he can. Like he just passed it nicely. Have, that so he definitely deserves that. Um uh 81 passing he deserves better because i feel like it's probably his short passing because like his passes are amazing especially uh short ones so you can just like get little passes into the striker and the striker can do the magic uh taylor roberts uh, had a real impact on the game uh will you promote more young players take uh we'll take our time with the, mm, we're plenty of we'll give it well it gives me something to think about taylor roberts that makes him happier ah uh, 
it, mm, we got a plan B, and that is actually Taylor Roberts, capped a good team display. Callum Wilson is so happy, like really happy, like if you, I think his happy is actually Max, oh no no, please don't be out long, please, now I have to move him uh, forward, so, <laughs> okay, this season I've had really bad luck with injuries, two, um, two ACLs and I really hope it's not an um, ACL for Brahmin, well, that will be my third ACL of the season, and that is not nice, damn it, oh, no, I'm trying to check my, I forgot, you absolute ah uh, <laughs> oh, <no>. okay oh. <laughs> four weeks Aaron suffered a four week and a four weeker and he went down by one in only I think he went down in one by the first week and Brahmin, mm, he's only 25 as well, I hate these like injuries with players that are only like, uh, uh, okay, Lascelles in four months, Almiron will come back like pretty much February, mid-February, but those, that one game he played, that has really halted his career. I'm probably gonna actually add him just to the to the loan list so he can get some time somewhere else. But yeah, I knew number seven is Taylor Roberts, and he deserves it after that game. And then Lascelles, he's still got four months. Uh, We've still got four months to wait to see what's happened with him. And if then he gets a second L ACL, that could be horrible. Okay, set recovery. That puts us up into eighth. Okay, we... We need to... Chelsea have a difficult game. Chelsea are facing West Ham. I feel like West Brom are definitely relegated and there's a Wolves fan I'm secretly happy about that. But, <laughs> uh, but with 43 points, this is the halfway mark. Everyone's played 19 games. So... And first is City, Liverpool, Spurs, United, Arsenal, Wolves, Chelsea, Newcastle, Everton, West Ham, Fulham, uh, Aston Villa, Sheffield United, Burnley, Leeds, Crystal Palace, Southampton, Leicester, Brighton and West Brom. Wait, I'm pretty sure that right now I can imagine that uh, Grant would be one of because I remember he was uh, he was in last place with I think five goals no six goals in like eight games I think it was but currently the top goal scorer um he's currently on track to beat the record for most goals in a Premier League season and may I think he might actually be on track to beat most goals ever and then next. Oops, and then next it's Rashford, then Aguero, mm, then Pulisic, Mane, Sterling, Kane, Rodriguez, Cavani, and then King. Hasn't scored a goal in, like, months. Besser, he's doing better than I thought he was assists-wise, with seven assists. I didn't know he was getting in that many assists. I can imagine that, okay, then... Where where's Darlow? Yeah, you can tell because like on on the bottom it's mainly backup goalies like Hennessy, uh, Darlow, 
um, like, for, for a bit, Darlow was on really good form, so he was my main goalie, so, <laughs> Alan with the most, how does Grealish get that many, he's an attacker, I can imagine that, yep, Lascelles is there, and uh, how is Lascelles in ninth for most yellow cards, and he's been out, uh, for, uh, three months, that just proves how Brutal the cells is. and then actually none of my players so far have actually got a red, which is pretty nice. So that's every now I'll think now we're exactly I'll probably uh sim these two games. I I'm not I don't care hugely i just want to get to the first of january because that's when the transfer window opens so i'll see you at the first of january Fine finally we've got to the first of january okay now two players depart uh federico fernandez has confirmed his move to Real Betis and Dwight Gale has confirmed his move to Leicester. Villarreal won't dumb it. He's a great backup, so no, but he is actually not happy. Oh, and he is transfer listed for some reason. Oh, yep, he submitted a move away. Now, which one of these players would I want in the squad? If Wilson gets a knock or something like that, I want a backup striker. Now, the, the reason I've got Joshua King uh, in here is because he's on really good form. It. <laughs> yep, uh, can't get him. But Andre Ayu, actually Jordan Ayu's brother, um, and Slimani. I feel like Slimani, uh might be the better one i just want an, uh, someone decent then he seems like that so because one of my aims is to buy a veriton player but what other players is there that i actually want Wait, I'm just going to try and give myself a realistic amount uh, to spend uh, in this. Uh, I'll probably do like 85.15. So that gives us 11 million to spend. And I could get that to about um, 11.5 million to spend. Healthy amount. So... Actually, do I want to sign Amadou Traore? Because he's young, he's actually loan listed, but he's young, he's a good striker. <laughs> okay, Bellingham. Could I bring him back to link up with the Longstaff brothers? I, I, I do want to, so I do want to make a january signing now obviously i need to make uh, the veriton signing but another one i feel like he's done more than enough to deserve what what why can't i why can i accept it for better what? Makes no sense, I can only terminate his loan. 3.45, I'm happy with that. He's been playing like... Kaka recently. Just g grabbing assists everywhere and getting a good goal occasionally. Oh, what? I'm, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna buy him next season anyway no matter what but 
I was I wanted to buy him now. I was quite happy with that deal honestly. Quite a few sales. I why why can't I he's on he's actually on like good form as you can see. But like we've done a lot of sales. I feel like our sale to buy ratio <laughs> is pretty good. Imagine if that was actually a thing. Wow, our sale to buy ratio is quite high. <laughs> but uh, so we sold one, two, three, four, five players, and we bought one, two, three, four. So actually, if I sign one more player, I'll have bought um, and K. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm gonna. I either want a backup uh, centre back, which I don't really need because I'm fine there. I think Slimani is gonna be the player that I'm gonna get who's experienced. Now, who else is there that would actually be a good idea to get? Now, I want to go into the promising tab thing because you can actually find some. Uh, players that are already decently rated. Wait, I know Ryan Cherky um, is 71 rated. I might have grown already. Eddie Nakaita. He might actually be a good backup to... Uh, oops. Actually... No, no, he's way too expensive for us. Ryan Nyambe. Uh, Tulunga. <laughs> I feel like, um, I think Eddie Nakaita or João Pedro might actually, uh, be good players for us. Wait, because I've already scouted him. Wait, isn't there like a feature where if you've scouted them for a bit, you can see Mm, their stuff. Now I'm just gonna uh, sim ahead and if there is a game that I want to play in that time I will play. No I don't want to play. I don't actually want to play any games in January so I'll just sim ahead to when the scout reports come back. So uh, I've actually scouted them so I know their value so I can just stop scouting them and now because what what I find quicker is actually if you want to uh, get the players that you're scouting done quicker so you can see uh, just scout them for a couple of days till it's mostly done and then only their uh, overall will not, and some stats Okay, no, no, but only some of the stats will be missing, and that's what I've done. It's dark in <laughs> But, so, now I don't know the overall rules, but, so the player that looks, because mm, I'm, I'm looking for a backup striker, and if I could get João Pedro, and I could get probably MacArthur. So, oh, because Toprak um might be affordable if I. So, I think I'll get Jao Pedro and either give him sporadic or rotation. Oh god, the loudness. But actually, do what we'd want. Like, Andy Carroll plus uh, his base value. <laughs> they don't know that Almiron's badly injured. But still, I do want to keep that one, so I can offer them six million. I would say six million is fair for a player like João Pedro. And if I can get that to a nine percent selling clause, it's a deal. Done deal. 
So, Jao Pedro, hopefully, in the club. Yeah, I know that he's like only got like a 73 because he'll probably have grown a bit. He's happy with sporadic. I'm happy with that. Good boy, good boy. Ivy is at the club. He's happy with that. He's happy with no release calls. I'm happy with that. And if I can remove that appearance bonus, it's a done deal. There. Val Pedro in. What's his rating? Yes, 72. That's a good rating. I'll probably have enough here. Or plaque. Or MacArthur. MacArthur's the cheaper one, but to Prack has less wages. And Dummett has submitted a transfer request, so I'll be happy if we can swap him for Dummett and it will be considered as a Veriton. A Veriton. <laughs> I know. Well done it. There. To prac for... If we only need to pay... 500k? Ah. Uh, why don't we go in the middle with... A mil. A mil on the dot plus... Okay, that's 9 million in total. So I'm glad that I was able to get Dummett going the other way. So this will be Jean Pedro in as a new backup striker for Wilson, just in case he gets a knock. And uh, Toprak in. Um, Dummett, who's not very happy. Now, and this will also be considered a Veriton player, which... Ooh, I'll give you rotation, mate. Oh, he really wants that important. I'll see, I'll see, but... Two, I'm pretty sure he'll be happy with three, honestly. Yep, he's happy with two, so... Uh, disregard release clause. Does he want... Slight cut in his wages? Mmm, yeah, done deal. So, now the board should be happy with, I think, yep, a 90. Uh, so look, it says, so, now it, my uh, manager rating has gone up to 90, only because I signed a Veriton player. Wait, brand exposure is kind of, oh, because they've got more, uh, what's it called, reputation, so they're happier with signing a bigger player. So that leaves me with a new backup that I can put into actually all of my teams, but on the bench from my main team, of course. So, yep. Uh, to to prac uh, is just automatically on the bench. Um, then João Pedro will be on the bench. Now he'll be happy because I'll be subbing him on quite a bit. And I, what are his stats actually? If his pace is good, I'm happy because then he mm, 80 pace, uh, 69 shooting, 61 passing, or 23 defend defending. <laughs> Okay, now I can put him in my uh, second team. So I can put João Pedro in, and I can put uh, Toprak in. So now, yeah, he's actually higher rated than the cells. So when the cells does come back, he might be sad that he's lost his position. Where's the, uh, oops, that he's lost his position as the main, the, uh, 
a centre backup centre back. So João Pedro. Now I hope that's a good signing for the future. Now bye guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And bye. Hello peeps and welcome back to another video. Now I'm back on my Newcastle career mode. Now obviously last episode we made um two new signings. Obviously we made the signing to Prague. Now uh he's a considered Veriton player, so he puts my manager rating up. I needed to do this if I wanted a high manager rating. And then João Pedro, uh, he's only 19, he's a Brazilian striker, and I just want to see how good he does play at left mid. How good to. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but so he looks like a player who could, if, if ever um, Wilson got injured, um, could take over his role. Because they've got quite similar stats 81 pace, 80 pace, um, 78, and you've got to remember, João Pedro uh, is. 72 rated so 69 shooting and so yeah even though Wilson is better in every single bit um if Jean Pedro uh like spent a bit in the first team he probably would get it so there, there are only diff the main differences uh because they're both speedy good at shooting uh, other than Wilson's uh, quite a bit better at passing but um, the main thing is uh, Shao Pedro's medium medium now I'm not I don't mind hugely because Shao Pedro is still young so I need to get all this balanced out so I'm gonna put him on like mm, training and then uh, and so I can get all his stats like good for a striker because currently he's on balance they're automatically on balance which one of these uh, I think that puts his yep poacher puts his mm, attacking work rate up and that's really what I want mm. So the young 19 year old into the squad and then the older, uh, like he's probably going to get some game time. Now as it's halfway through the season round that anyway, Callum Wilson is our top goal scorer now he's an 80 rated, our, sec our third highest rated player and once Dubravka starts declining he'll probably um like i don't actually know who i think has played better because we've got two, we've had two goalies this season who've played really good wait it says that carl darlow has a higher average rating but that's mainly in the Carabao cup now what's carl darlow's uh sharpness because i've not played him in quite a while like this is what I like about having players on the bench that you sub on every game. It means that Fraser is usually subbed on, Rich is usually subbed on because it's uh, my wingers that get quite tired. And then uh, Barman and Roberts uh, are really good to have in the midfield. Right now I'm playing with Roberts as a centre mid, but I will be turning it back into a. I've just figured out a cheat, a kind of cheat code to get his uh, <laughs> um, overall up. Oh, look at this! So you just train them to centre mid, then you train them back to cam, and it will put the overall up. <laughs> I won't do that though. I think he's good as a centre mid because that 81 passing. 
that's what I like about him. Like an 88 short passing. I could actually feel that in the game. How those short passes, they weren't. Because, like, I'm comparing him, his passing, to Barman. So, why am I on Wilson? I'm comparing his passing to Barman, which is better. And I really liked the. I, and it actually does feel a difference so yeah all my players are well all my starting lineup players are happy or very happy then my, all my well other than the two new signings where it resets all their stuff um my bench is all happy or very happy well these three players are very happy so yep yeah. now once like Almiron is currently happy, Lascelles is very happy, but they've got like zero sharpness. Uh, I feel bad for them because they're both like players who still had a couple of years left in them, but then those ACL injuries have just really ruined their career. But I'll play this game against Leicester actually. I know I did say I'm not gonna play the games in January, but I've made all the signings I'm actually interested in making. And anyway, it might be a bit, so I'll play it, but I'll probably be playing against like Ihi Nacho <laughs> up front because they usually sell Vardy, like, have they? If they've actually sold Vardy, um, yeah, they've sold Vardy to Barcelona, <laughs> that's probably why they're doing so badly, honestly. So I'll play the game now and I'll probably sub Shao Pedro on and Toprak at half time to see how good they're doing. A win against Leicester City 2-0. I'm happy with that. Um, so we should be winning the games against teams that were expected to win and this year they're doing horrible as you can see a lot of chances in this game and then both the goals scored in the 90th minute so Callum Wilson uh, who I subbed off at half time for João Pedro just to give him a, a game missed that I thought that was in honestly now a miss here I I was like oh that went in oh but it, not, it actually missed and I was like what then this yeah that was a horrible miss when Ethan Nacho like he would have never you can't go near post when the goalie is that close to his near post then as you can see Leicester were really dominating but then Undere gets a miss like that and then my second goal from across ever Isaac Hayden just slots into the back of the net and I this was four minutes after I had subbed him on and he scores that goal um which secures a victory because that was literally the last kick of the game like they didn't even let a uh, kickoff happen for a second time yep Isaac Hayden had a good game uh 9.3 wait did he even get man of the match I don't know if he got man of the match, but as you can see, I was playing João Pedro. Um, assists actually won for João Pedro and won for Taylor Roberts. Yeah, uh, João Pedro was the assist for uh, Ryan Fraser. I feel like we definitely need to keep playing like that because uh, Leicester were just um, were just dominating, and then we found like those tiny gaps in their defence, and my attackers just got through and had a shot. That so it's definitely okay. Takes time for anyone who's not a new boy, but um, I'm proud of the boys' determination. Yeah, so, 
a good win. Now that's definitely how we need to play against teams like that. Uh, we should find a gap in their defence and really exploit it. Uh, so both Toprak and João Pedro get their first game in for the squad. I really liked uh, Toprak's heading ability. What is his heading ability? 78. That's strange. But he was pretty good. So, yeah. Wait, Amaron's coming. Oh, ah, he's really badly injured, so, oh, what should I show you? Because it would be a bit mean to say you're doing great. Oh, imagine this person in, he's like, badly injured and he's like, sir, I don't really mind if you replace me, actually. Uh, I've pretty, I'm pretty much can't play football. Uh, don't get distracted because I don't expect top performances for, from someone who can't play. Now, where does that put us up into? We were sick. We. Day in sick, 23 games played. Yeah, I can sim the rest of the games. Wait, imagine if we could go home a whole, uh, not a whole, a whole month with only winning 2 0. But I'll probably just. Uh, yep, our next game is actually against Spurs, so both clubs win all those games. So next, uh, I'll be playing these two games in this episode, and I'll be playing that. United game so I'll be playing four games this episode in total so I'll sim all the games in between them there now because I'm not going to be making any more signings a loss against Mourinho's Tottenham 3-1 their defense was just too solid I couldn't get through it and they only really scored um they only really scored two goals. One was a penalty, and I consider penalties of a bit of like um, a proven proving that the other team fouled you in the box, not proving that it's a goal. Because yeah, that's more of, like it's very hard to save them. I dived the wrong way. Kane scores his second here. Well, who who did that? That no, like, that should have been offside. That should have been offside. Honestly, yeah, that's offside. Come on. Oh, that's that's a tiny bit offside. But then the eighty second minute. That's just a rubbish goal. All their goals, goals that a nine-year-old could score, and that's what's so annoying about it. It's pretty much like how um, West Ham play in real life. They, like, in real life, West Ham, they literally get the ball, run as fast as they can, and then just hit the ball as hard as they can into the bottom corner. Everything there is something that a nine-year-old could do, honestly. Like... They're like, if you see, like, they're crazy. Um, this Lingard solo goal, it was literally just running as fast as he could. Okay, yeah. Yeah, finally beaten. Like, well. We, this is actually the second game we've lost in a row. Uh, to be fair, uh, last game that we lost was against Swansea in the in the FA Cup with a weaker squad. But it was a replay, so uh, we stay in sixth though. 
uh, two points off United in fifth. So we don't actually change position. And okay, I'm hoping that uh, João Pedro um, rating does improve. No, it already has. I thought that he's. I thought that he came here as a seventy-three. Or shouldn't his attacking work great be on high? Oh, on his attacking work great to be on high. Um, I'll keep him on the complete striker, so I can upgrade his weak foot. He did it. Oh, uh, two of those goals uh, were goals that he scored at Watford. Ah, and like Callum Wilson's really slowed down. We're not, we're not all great for. Uh, I, I actually need to do this because I'm because it went on B and oh no, few it fell on X. Good, so I didn't need to do that. But yeah. Um, we were on really good form and just dropped off a bit over the last couple games, yeah. So, we were doing really good. We haven't, the last time we lost was actually against Arsenal. That's fitting that we lose against Arsenal, then the next loss is against Spurs, but a draw against Southampton, a loss against Swansea with our second team, and then a loss against Spurs, so I will be simming this game against Fulham, I hope we can uh, redeem ourselves after our terrible form recently. Yeah, that, that game wasn't nice, we lost 3-1. Okay, this is a score that I always play, keep fingers crossed, will the scoreline be a 2-1 win? Matter? Thought he was at Aston Villa, or is that another matter? I don't really care. I feel like Wilson is done. Like before, he was like guaranteed to get it. Now he's really slowed down. That's strange. Next month, okay. I can probably... Could I finish the episode? Uh, no, sorry, the season in this episode. Because I could play that game. Play that game. Play that game. I think that's four. And then I will play the Everton game. Because, no, that's too many games for an episode. I'll go up till, so I'll play that one, I'll play the City one, and I'll play the Chelsea one. Because a lot of the other ones, I'm happy with simming. So, I will now play the City one. A draw against City, that's fair considering that they were in... Oh stupid considering that they weren't first I, I can I guess I'll just explain to you uh, how uh, Taylor Roberts scored that goal because their goal was again a rubbish goal like we always concede those goals that require no effort but uh, the goal that um, we scored it was a great uh, volley so yeah, now his value has gone to 8.5. I think he'll probably be out to Italy next season to really redeem himself, really. Well, really redeem himself, really. <laughs> I think it's not too long till he comes back from... His injury, LaSalle's eight weeks to 
two months till he's back. He's already 75. I feel like, oh, I'm running nine days. That really early on at ACL, he might actually be back. So I will sim the games up. Oh yeah, I think I might have actually got a beast in the Youth Academy. I keep forgetting to show you what we get in the Youth Academy uh, report. But I might have got a really good player in the Youth Academy. So, uh, is he in here? This, that might have been him. Oh, Marriott can now be turned into a right winger, yeah. I think this might have been him. Wait, I remember he had quite high... Yeah, this was probably him. Or... Yeah, yeah, it was this player. It was this player. 59 rated. He'll be much better as a winger then. And maybe a right winger so he can cut in and use his strong foot. And I think Almiron might be loaned out for next season. Yep, he will be moving out to Italy. <gasps> yes! That's another 80 rated player. Yeah, whenever I um, put our formation back to our normal, uh, back to normal, because for some reason you can't move these players. See, you know what I mean. But a great uh, midfield of Barman and or how was he? Well, he was injured for a tiny bit, but it was like as bad as the ACLs that we've got for both Lascelles and Almiron, but I feel, I, wait, is Almiron going out to Lazio? Yeah, he should be, yeah. I, I didn't read it all, I was just skimming through it. So I will now go up to the United game and play it. So, a draw against um, uh, United, now to be fair they are in fourth but again, one of those like goals which a, a nine year old could score where, uh, where they literally all they need, look, like, okay, first off this cross, the, that cross uh, requires a bit of skill but then you just need to like it's not a hard goal for some reason i can only ever concede uh because i'm really good at stopping like ronaldo level goals but then when when they try anything else um i just can't do it currently in seventh we've played three more games than tottenham i don't know what I don't know where they've been, but, but this uh, lad looks like he could be a fantastic player. Okay, well, these are literally just international friendlies. So now I will go to the game against Chelsea, and I'll play the. I'll I will just uh, sim through these two games, and that'll be the end of today's video. I decided not to end the video at the Chelsea game and actually play it because I do actually want to actually. Uh, so sim the West Ham game, play the Liverpool game, sim the Leeds game, then play the Everton game and that will be the whole season done. So I will play the game now and I'll come back after I've won it. Well, I meant drawn or lost it. I, 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 was gonna, I meant to say played it. 
another win um against Chelsea so a good three points that we grab off this game two highlights in the entire game for some reason we keep getting penalties and Callum Wilson keeps slotting them in and then in the 87th minute like I was like oh I bet they're gonna score an equalizer late but Dubravka comes up and proves why uh, he's ahead of Darlo and he saves it sorry about that <laughs> but now I think I don't I'll only have to play two more games. I probably could have contributed more. We won anyway, lad. It's a three points in the. Don't yeah, don't. Uh, don't blame yourself. But it was a win, so. Two, uh, two youth players. Oh, okay. What can we get? A, oh, ah, oh, nah. Even though his wage is quite high, doesn't seem like a good player. Ah, nah. Mm. Oh, I know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't even like this Murphy guy. I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna transfer list him next season anyway. Go up! Okay. Oh, is there no meat? You should focus on your football, Murphy. I'm not even gonna call you Jacob, I'm just gonna call you Murphy. <laughs> Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, I enjoyed making it, I hope you enjoyed watching it, so bye!